Hi, this is Zeli from SafeNet ASP Technical Support. I would like to show you how to remove uh, the ASP DVD from this machine completely. Uh, this is also important if you would like to install a new ASP DVD and you don't know, you don't want anything from the previous uh, ASP DVD to uh, exist on the machine. So what I would uh, do is just uh, look for uh, Sentinel. Uh, Sentinel uh, things. Uh, this this is not relevant to uh, our Sentinel, but Sentinel has business to the server. I will re ask to remove it from my machine. Uh, this process might take uh, some time, so I will uh, pause it for a moment. After finishing with the uh, uninstalling of Business Studio, I will proceed uh, to ASP Sentinel ASP Runtime. Next would be the Sentinel ASP Vendor Suite. And then the next one from the Admin Remove programs would be the Microsoft SQL Server 2005 that was installed as part of uh, uh, the installation of my DVD. If I go to Remove, I also see here that uh, I can uh, also select the has personal database which is uh, the has database and also uh, workstation components and I proceed in removing it uh, this is uh, still ongoing uh, it is shortly going to end uh, meanwhile, I can s meanwhile uh, we can see that uh, under C program file SafeNet, uh, if we have uh, Sentinel ASP and Sentinel ASP server with just several uh, f files within it, but we don't need them, we can uh, erase them. And then, uh, if I go to the services, I can see that there are no Sentinel services. And in addition, the SQL server with the uh, Aspasram database uh, does not exist anymore. So that is okay. Um, okay, I see that uh, everything is finished in the over here. So we are ready. The last thing that you should uh, do is to go to C program files. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server and then find here most it is uh, under msql.1 uh, msql data you have two files here that uh, we don't we, we avoid uh, erasing them these two belongs to the database of the SRM uh, but since we uh, no longer want them because uh, they are non they are, they are not needed uh, in order to have a new fresh installation of SRM so I'm going to erase them uh, and by that I'm just uh, finishing all the process of uninstalling SRM with along with the database uh, in order to be able to either use this machine with no ASP or install a fresh new ASP uh, DVD thank you for watching